Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Barrington here from BridgeLesson.com, and I have yet another hand from our Saturday game to discuss with you guys. This one created a pretty good discussion about a convention called Puppet Statement. It's a pretty cool convention that is great for those of you that are still worried about opening one no trump with your five card majors this offers you a way to actually discover if the no trump opener does have a five and or a four card major after they open one no trump so for those of you that are worried about that this is right up your alley so anum and i are going to discuss it here and afterwards guys you can actually link to a lesson that i have on bridgelesson.com very cheap, a $10 lesson that comes with a full video of a description and quiz questions with Puppet Statement and a huge package of notes that describes the convention as well. So if you're interested, the link is right there. And don't forget, guys, if you want to play in the Saturday game, just visit bridgelesson.com slash play. It'll give you instructions on how to join on BridgeBase for absolutely nothing, a totally free game. And then you get a 12 board analysis afterwards with yours truly. So enjoy the content here, guys. And I will see you either at the tables or in our classes on bridgelesson.com, including the link to that puppet statement class that's right below in the comments, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And I will see you very soon. Take care. Okay, on board, number 11, our penultimate decision here. West started with one no Trump. And let's talk about a conventional way that it gives us the best of all worlds for the East player here. Um, I think if you do play puppet over one, no Trump, this is a great hand for We're it. talking puppet stamen. And, puppet stamen. and this is another version of stamen that brings in the opportunity to discover a five card major suit in the no Trump opener's hand. Uh, and here with four hearts and three spades, this would be a very cool spot to not bid two clubs. But if you agree to play Puppet Statement, you can bid three clubs. And this will be asking partner about their major suit holdings. This is not, hey, partner, do you have a four card major? It is, hey, partner, tell me about the holdings you may or may not have in the major so suit. Let's go over the tenants of this three club bid. Yep. Um, three clubs creates a game for us. You're always going to play a game when you start with three clubs Absolutely. Puppet Statement. The other thing is you guarantee seven or less cards between both major suits um, and never a five card major. Um, and certainly so never like, four, four either because- Right, you, you cannot be four, four in the majors to do this. If you're a four, four, you would just start with stamen. And the reason we do this becomes clear later. Over three clubs, if your partner happens to bid three diamonds to say, sorry, no five card major, you, can never have both four card majors so you bid the one you don't have exactly. like in standard puppet some people play that like raising three diamonds to four diamonds shows both four card majors that is a bad treatment That's ridiculous. do not do it yeah exactly uh, and the the let's just go over the responses first the, the responses would be as follows either major will say i have five of that major okay so three hearts in response to puppet statement says i have five hearts Three spades in response would say I have five spades. Three diamonds, the expert standard way to play this is just to say, hey, partner, I do not have a five card major and I may or I may not have a four card major. I'm not confirming nor denying it. And this deprives the opponents of extra information, right? So for the times where I was just looking for a five card major on them and I see this bid, now when I bid three no, my opponents don't even know what four card major I might have had before, right? Right. Uh, so after this three diamond response, though, uh, which denies a five card major, but shows four, how do you guys think based on what you might have seen in these videos before? And if you've never played puppet, how do you think we should show our four card hard suit? Or how do you think we should proceed after partner says, hey, I don't have five, but I may still have a four card major. How do we show this hand? Take your choice and, and we'll have Anum hit you with the truth in five seconds. Four, three, two, hit him with the truth, Anum. So we bid the one we do not have. And why the heck do we do that? Just to confuse partner because we hate them? <laughs> because we want them to declare. Yes. The no Trump opener is on the other side of the table. Three spades just says the partner, hey, I have four cards in the heart suit. If you do too, bid game in that suit if you do not bid three no trump 
And as we open up all these hands here, folks, you will just see that this West player will choose to play hearts. And that is because we have shown that suit. So we'll go past four hearts. And that's where we end up playing this sucker. And I'm, I'm actually bidding with the wrong hand here on him. Excuse me. That's where we should end up. And now West, the no trump opener, gets to play the correct contract. And I remember you playing this quite brilliantly and, uh, and embarrassing me once again with this hand on him. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, subscribe and join us live in any of these events we have throughout the weeks. Tuesdays is our Imp Challenge. It's Anum Teba and myself against another world-class pro. Wednesday is a match point tournament with the robots with Gavin Wolpert and myself. And the Saturday game is where we all get to practice. If you guys are available, 1.30 p.m. on Bridge Base, you can join us for that game live and then watch the analysis from yours truly and some of my other pro friends usually for that game on Saturdays. So lots of ways to join, guys. Subscribe and get notified when our content goes out live take care guys and we will see you very soon